injuries have kind of been an ongoing story for me. I don't know if it's the way I'm built or <laughs> what, but I've always kind of had a string of injuries, so those have been tough. But that pinky finger there, I don't know if you guys can see that, so that's as straight as it goes. So that's the biggest obstacle I've had. Um, so that was in 2007, I had a, a stick, stick injury, so someone hit me on the fall through, and uh, it was you know, a significant fracture that you know, ended up having two surgeries and nine months of pinky exercises to get back from. I had a tumor on my uh, bone in my hand that uh, just where it was positioned was super painful, just right by a nerve. You know, it took two surgeries to correct it and, and uh, it was really difficult because I started to question whether I'd ever go to the Olympics, which you know had been a childhood dream of mine. Overcoming a bleeding stomach ulcer in February where I was hospitalized for a couple of days and uh, a week after that I was sent to the French Open. So that was a huge obstacle for me, you know, not competing at my 100%. Also, I got four wisdom teeth removed before <laughs> leaving to the Brazil Open four days before. All just in the before. same year. Can we All just in the yeah. same year. Getting back into the sport. I mean, when I was younger, I kind of started growing up as my father as my coach. You know, nothing against him, but me just kind of being a little brat, like growing up, kind of butted heads a lot with my dad. Yeah. And uh, it kind of drove me away from the sport. And getting the passion again and really Really like kind of focusing on goals like what I want to do with the sport. It's probably like the hardest thing for me to get back into and actually like loving the sport again like I do today. My mom, she was uh, quite sick when I was um, a bit younger so I had to uh, kind of slow down and um, kind of take care of her and let my dad figure out like am I gonna stop running and help out the family or am I gonna continue so my mom loved track because she did track so that was like my biggest obstacle because she got sick and she had cancer and I was kind of scared about that so I just sat back a little bit and just talked to her and make sure that she was okay and then I started focusing back with track. The very first one that kept me in the sport was when I actually got um cut from the team in 2007, right before the Pan American Games in Rio that year. And um, after being cut, I had the opportunity, at the time I didn't see it as an opportunity, but I had the opportunity to go back to my club and train with girls, my friends, my coaches that I were, was really familiar with. And um, I found the love for the sport that I had sort of lost along the way. When I came back at trials after the Olympics in 2008, I came back stronger, better, and just more motivated to do even more. 